So I again to all, let us now proceed to our third topic for this week's discussion. The theory of choice fits Patrick. Um, she is an RN, PhD, MBA, and FAAN. So her theory is known as life perspective rhythm model. So let us first talk about her. She was born in 1944, and she gained her BSN in Georgetown University. She got her MS in Psychiatric Mental Health Nursing in Ohio State University. She got her PhD in Nursing at New York University and gained her MBA from Case Western Reserve University. She is a fellow in the American Academy of Nursing in 1981. Presently, um, she is a professor at Elizabeth Brooks Ford, Professor of Nursing, Frances Payne Bolton School of Nursing, Case Western Reserve University, Cleveland, Ohio. So she is also a writer. She published the following books entitled Advanced Practice Psychiatric Nursing, which deals more on integrating psychotherapy, psychopharmacology, and alternative or complementary approaches, which was published in 2012. And another book entitled Theories Guiding Nursing Research and Practice, uh, focus on making nursing knowledge development explicit, which was also published in 2014. And another book uh, entitled Nursing Concepts Analysis. Uh, it focused on the applications to research and practice, which was published in 2016. So her theory is called life perspective model rhythm so which was actually based on the theory of martha rogers on unitary human being so the theory of martha rogers the nursing focuses on a set of basic assumptions that describe the life processes in human being that includes the following wholeness openness Uni unidirectionality, pattern and organization, thought and sentience. So she conceptualized her model from Martha Rogers' theory of unitary human beings, which correlates of human development as the basis for differentiation, organizing, and ordering life's reality. So let us now proceed to the major assumptions of her theory. So first, the process of human development is characterized by rhythms that occur within the context of continuous person-environment interaction. So as you can see here, um, the environment can greatly affect to the health of the person or the meaningfulness of life of the patient so malaki ang impact ng environment okay the interaction ng person towards her environment and i remember that martha rogers theory um it focused on rhythms ano ba yung mga rhythms na yon okay um she correlates shorter higher frequency wave that manifests shorter rhythm and approaches seemingly continuous pattern serves as Fitzpatrick's main focus for hypothesizing the existence of um, rhythmic pattern. So, di ba rhythm then? Pattern. The same with or similar to the theory of Martha Rogers. So, another assumption is that nursing activity focuses on enhancing the developmental process towards the health. We have mentioned it in the previous slides. 
Another assumption is that a central concern of nursing science and the nursing profession is the meaning attributed to life as the basic understanding of human existence. So, ano ba yung, yung meaningful events okay, that is attributed to a, a patient's life? And another assumption is the identification and labeling of concepts allows for recognition and communication with others. And the rules for combining those concepts permits thoughts to be shared through language. So let us now proceed to the meta paradigm of Martha Rogers, I uh, sorry, of um, Joyce Fitzpatrick's theory. So on the person, according to her, a person includes both the self and others. The others, the environment, your member, um, it could be your relatives, uh, friends, okay. It is seen as an open system, a unified whole, characterized by a basic human rhythm. So it is, uh, it has um, unique biological, psychological, emotional, social, cultural, and spiritual attributes. So on health, according to Martha Rogers, health is a dynamic state of being that results from the interaction of person and the environment. So again, yung impact, yung interaction ng person towards her environment could really affect the health of an individual. It is a human dimension under continuous development, a heightened awareness of the meaningfulness of life. And according to her, optimum health is the actualization of both innate and obtained human potential gathered from rewarding relationship with others, goal-directed behavior, and expert personal care. So, napakalaki ng impact. So, ibig sabihin lang dito, if, you're, if you have a negative environment, it would affect the health of the individual. So, malaki ang impact ng environment, mga stressors sa paligid. Okay. That would really affect the health, according to her. And on nursing, um, according to Fitzpatrick, it is a developed pain discipline whose central concern is the meaning attached to life or to health of a certain individual. And the primary purpose of nursing is the promotion and maintenance of an optimal level of wellness. So when you say promotion, you have to promote um, healthy living. Okay, you have to maintain na hindi na siya babalik pa ulit sa previous state of illness or disease. You have to maintain <coughs> optimum level, highest level of health. Ang ibig nilang sabihin. So, that actually ends the theory of Fitzpatrick. And, and it ends our topic for this week. So, I hope you learn something from them and you will be able to apply their theories in the in the future, in your practice in the future. So God bless everyone.